Okay. This ladder cannot be extended without taking these doors off. These doors don't slide real well either, by the way. Okay. So, what we've done here is we've improvised. This is the ladder out of my cart. That's going to get us up. That's a gas line right in front of the ladder. That's not good. You see that duct right there? That's a gray plastic sheath. That was by Corning in the 80s. That's obsolete. It's in a big class action lawsuit. It's already been settled. There's no money left. Okay, we're in the master bath. Wooden floors. In the master bedroom. Okay, ran out of some battery. So, coming in here, the shower. Looks like it's leaking a little bit. Right there. See that? And it does have a single handle, so that's good. Okay, this isn't a jet tub, it's a bubble tub. It doesn't circulate the water, it just blows air bubbles out there for a nice romantic effect. Coming along in here. So it's kind of kind of tight. Okay. Here we all watch this. I'm getting my Irving on. Alright. gas line it's right in front of the pull down ladder it shouldn't be it's that gray duct I was complaining about making comment about okay insulation it should not be next to the white can lights like that silver can lights you can do that white can lights it's no bueno be light. A little light on the subject. This is the vaulted ceiling going to the living room. Is that white can light I was talking about? We're missing. Hot neutral reverse. Loose. There it is. Look at that. Okay. Somehow the inspector's been here. We should have, maybe should have mentioned the lack of insulation there. That would have been good. Insulation of the white can light. That would make a nice sticker. Okay, so what do we got here? Some of the lights don't work. Perforated tape, just like the other ones. I'm not running around there. The air filter is taped to closed. I don't have any fresh tape. 20 by 25 by 1 is what they take. Just like the other ones. Brass gas valve. Unlike the other ones, look at all that rust in the can. And that gray duck, the others don't have that. And all along here, what else can I find? Oh. That's a fireplace. Okay. So, what happens with the fireplace here? And this is every fireplace in Dallas. Alright, but the wood framing is right next to the brickwork. The Texas Real Estate Commission, and you know, I think find codes and references that's so supposed to be two inches away. And nobody's going to move it. I worked with an engineer alongside of an engineer one time. I said, Look, you don't have two inches. He says, I know they're all like that. And then a friend of mine, an associate really, uh, Texas Real Estate Commission, thought that he should have mentioned that that's so. For the Texas Real Estate Commission, we're going to say that. that Framing is too close to the chimney. Nobody's going to do anything about that. I'm not bitter. Okay. Coming along here. You know that's leaking. You just know that's leaking. Why isn't this on? I'm going to go back downstairs and turn it back on. All these are supposed to have been on. I don't know what's going on. Huh? On, on, on. I just go on and on. Okay. This tape, this metal tape, it shouldn't be perforated. It'll probably never fall on you. It'll never drop, but it's supposed to be perforated, isn't it? It's supposed to be solid tape. 
or some other approved. There's a label for the evaporator coil. We're not going to get that. I'm going to capture that information. All right. And then the gas line goes. I'm sure. It, yeah, the gas line goes into the furnace. Unprotected connector. Open electric junctions. All your same sense. Now you're supposed to have 30 inches right here. My back is against a rigid air duct. We got some rigid air duct. Okay. Um, good to know. Good to know. But um, there's not there's not 30 inches of service access here. There's not. And there's not a lot of this gray duct. Okay. I, there's not any on the other side. He's got this one duct right here. Which why they didn't replace it, I don't know. Look at this one duct right here. And why they didn't replace that, I don't know. Uh, but that is that little bit of gray flex is is obsolete. Any other clues? All that debris, all that debris should come out. So I'm gonna try and keep this going. I feel bad I didn't have enough light in the other attic video. I'm not gonna replay the whole darn thing. I will take you through the house and just because I have abandonment issues I think this is going to be the last video no I'm going to come back up here and take some still images it's called double work Again, not just the garage, the closets, everywhere. Storage is just a little tight here, just a little tight. Back to the wet bar. We got the focusing now, so I'm gonna focus on the data plate. Is that gray? This is the downstairs water here. What's the other water here? Anyway, I, I click still images. And the interior. Got some different size top wood storage, storage. Oh. Back and forth. Swimming pool. Concrete pond. Why aren't you on? That's how we get the temperature differentials. This is the thermostat. Okay, that's east. That's west. That's south. So you got a little, really that location's fine. Good enough. I mean, not fine. We talked about steps. Short step. Coming back up, the insulation's missing right there. Step still feels weird. Much more light on the subject. Got a little moisture in there, a little corrosion. Not rust, like over the master. How come I don't have a light switch? Light. There we go. More rat poison. Didn't see that last time. Ah. Interesting. Okay. Double interesting. I'm going to be able to get some data here. Alright. These covers are all kind of stiff. 
and I want to be able to get them back on. But that's a better look at the debris in the attic. There's the missing building paper. Got a little more light on the subject. Okay. That's my wife haunting me. I mean, calling me. It's the phone. She's not really calling from the beyond the grave. And there's the insulation that's missing right there. And the two tag nails. Okay. I just feel better about it now.